Listening test instructions. The listening test is about 50 minutes. There are six parts in listening test. You will have about six minutes to listen to each passage and answer the questions. The passage will be played once. Unfortunately, I missed the concert last night. You will hear a conversation in three sections. You will hear each section only once. After each section, you will hear two or three questions. You will hear the questions only once. Choose the best answer to each question. Good evening. I'm looking to book a room for a two-night stay. Do you have any availability? Good evening. Yes, we do have rooms available. May I know your preferred dates and any specific requirements you may have? I would like to check in on the 10th of June and check out on the 12th. I prefer a non-smoking room with a king side bed and a nice view if possible. Certainly, sir. Let me check our system for the available options. Yes, we have a non-smoking room with a king-sized bed on the 7th floor that offers a beautiful view of the city skyline. It's priced at $1.150 per night. Would you like me to proceed with the reservation? That sounds, that sounds perfect. I'm glad to hear it's available. Yes, please go ahead and book that room for me. Great. I'll need some information from you to complete the reservation. Could you please provide me with your full name, contact number, and email address? Of course. My name is John Smith. My contact number is 555-1234, and my email address is john.smith at email.com. Thank you, Mr. Smith. I have all the required information. Your reservation for a non-smoking room with a king-sized bed on the 7th floor from the 10th to the 12th of June has been confirmed. The total cost for your stay will be $300. Perfect. I appreciate your help. Is there anything else I need to know about the reservation? Just a reminder that check-in time is at 3 p.m. and check-out time is at 11 a.m. If you have any additional requests or need assistance during your stay, please don't hesitate to let us know. Thank you for the reminder. I'll make sure to keep those times in mind. I appreciate your assistance. Which floor number offers a beautiful view of the city skyline? Which contact information was not provided by the man for the reservation? What is the total cost for a two-night stay in the non-smoking room with a king-sized bed? You will hear the second section of the conversation shortly. Before I go, could you please provide me with some information about the hotel amenities? Are there any restaurants or fitness facilities available on the premises? Certainly, Mr. Smith. 
Our hotel has a restaurant on the ground floor called The Garden Terrace, which serves a variety of international cuisines. They offer both buffet and a la carte options for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Additionally, we have a well-equipped fitness center on the second floor that is open 24 hours for our guests' convenience. That sounds great. I'll definitely try out the restaurant during my stay. And having a fitness center available will be perfect for me to continue my workout routine. Are there any other facilities or services that I should know about? Absolutely. We also have a business center with meeting rooms available for any business-related needs. Our concierge desk is open 24 7 ready to assist you with any inquiries or travel arrangements you may require. Furthermore, we offer complimentary Wi-Fi throughout the hotel, ensuring you stay connected during your stay. That's fantastic. It seems like everything I need will be readily available. I appreciate you providing me with all this information. It's my pleasure, Mr. Smith. We strive to ensure our guests have a comfortable and enjoyable stay. Thank you. I appreciate your hospitality. Oh, one, oh, one more thing. Is there parking available at the hotel? I'll be driving and it would be convenient to have a parking space. Certainly, Mr. Smith. We do have parking facilities available for our guests. We offer both self-parking and valet parking options. Self-parking is located in our secure underground parking lot and valet park available at the hotel entrance for your convenience. Please let us know which option you prefer, and we'll make the necessary arrangements. Thank you for clarifying that. I think I'll opt for self-parking during my stay. It's great to know that parking won't be an issue. Noted, Mr. Smith. We will provide you with detailed instructions on how to access the parking lot upon your arrival. If you have any difficulty finding a space, our staff will be more than happy to assist you. Excellent, I'm glad to hear that. What dining options are available at the hotel? How long is the fitness center open? How does the hotel describe its commitment to guest satisfaction? I just thought of one more thing. Are there any nearby attractions or places of interest that you would recommend visiting during my stay? I would love to explore the area if there are any notable sites. Absolutely, Mr. Smith. Our hotel is conveniently located near several popular attractions. One notable place to visit is the city's historical museum, which is just a short walk away. It offers a fascinating insight into the local history and culture. Additionally, we have a beautiful park nearby with well-maintained walking trails, perfect for enjoying some fresh air and relaxation. That sounds wonderful. I'll make sure to visit the museum and take a stroll through the park. Are there any other notable attractions or activities that I should consider? Certainly. If you're interested in shopping, there is a vibrant shopping district within walking distance from the hotel, offering a variety of shops, boutiques, and malls. If you prefer outdoor activities, there are scenic hiking trails and a picturesque lake within a short driving distance. That's fantastic. I'm glad to know there's plenty to do in the area. I'll definitely make the most of my time exploring these attractions. Thank you for the recommendations. You're very welcome, Mr. Smith. It's our pleasure to provide you with helpful suggestions. If you need any further information or assistance with planning your itinerary, our concierge desk will be more than happy to help. 
Thank you once again for your exceptional service. I truly appreciate your assistance and friendly demeanor. I'm eagerly looking forward to my stay at your hotel and exploring the local attractions. It's been my pleasure assisting you, Mr. Smith. We strive to provide the best experience for our guests, and I'm glad I could be of help. We hope you have a memorable and enjoyable stay with us. If there's anything else you need, please don't hesitate to reach out. Safe travels. Thank you so much. I will definitely reach out if I have any further questions. Have a wonderful day. You're most welcome, Mr. Smith. We're here to make your stay exceptional. Have a fantastic day and we'll see you soon. What is one prominent attraction around the hotel? Which exercise can be done within a short drive from the hotel? You will hear a conversation followed by five questions. Listen to each question. You will hear the question only once. Choose the best answer to each question. Hey Sarah, how are you? Long time no see. Hi Emily, I'm doing great. It has been ages since we last caught up. How have you been? I've been good too, thanks. So what's new with you? Any exciting plans for the upcoming holidays? Actually, yes. I've been planning a trip to Europe for the summer break. I've always wanted to explore different countries there. Wow, that sounds amazing. Which countries are you planning to visit? Well, I have a list of a few countries I really want to visit. I'm thinking of starting with France and exploring Paris. Then I want to visit Italy and see Rome and Venice. And of course, I can't miss out on Greece and its beautiful islands. That sounds like a dream trip. I'm so envious. I've always wanted to visit those places, too. How long are you planning to stay? I'm thinking of a three-week trip. I want to have enough time to explore each place properly and immerse myself in the local culture. That's a good plan. Three weeks should give you a decent amount of time to experience, to experience each country. Are you going alone or with someone? I'm going solo this time. I feel like it's the perfect opportunity for some self-discovery and independence. Plus, I can plan my itinerary according to my interests. That's true. Solo travel can be an incredible experience. You'll have the freedom to do whatever you want and meet new people along the way. Do you have any specific activities or landmarks you want to see? Absolutely. In France, I want to visit the Eiffel Tower, explore the Louvre Museum, and indulge in some authentic French cuisine. In Italy, I can't wait to see the Colosseum in Rome and take a gondola ride in Venice and in Greece to relax on the beautiful beaches of Santorini and visit the ancient ruins in Athens. Your itinerary sounds fantastic. I'm sure you'll have a blast. Have you started making any reservations or bookings? Yes, I've already booked my flights and accommodations for the entire trip. I made sure to choose places that are centrally located, so it'll be, located, so it'll be easier for me to explore each city. That's smart. It's important to have a convenient and comfortable place to stay especially when you're traveling alone. Have you looked into any local activities or tours? Yes, I've been doing some research, and there are plenty of walking tours, food tours, and cultural experience available in each city. I want to make the most of my trip by immersing myself in the local culture and trying out new things. That's a great approach. It's always fascinating to learn about different cultures and try their traditional cuisine. Don't forget to take lots of pictures and share them with me when you're back. Of course. I'll make sure to capture all the beautiful moments and share them with you. I'm really excited about this trip. It's going to be a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I'm genuinely happy for you, Sarah. You deserve this adventure and I can't wait to hear all about it when you return. 
Maybe we can plan a get-together and you can share your travel stories with everyone. That sounds plan. I'd love to share my experiences with everyone and inspire them to embark on their own adventures. Thanks for being so supportive, Emily. It means a lot to me. You're welcome, Sarah. Friends are meant to support and encourage each other's dreams. I'm just glad I can be there for you. Now, let's toast to your upcoming trip and all the wonderful memories you'll create. Cheers, Emily. Here's to new adventures and unforgettable experiences. Which countries is Sarah planning to visit during her trip to Europe? How long is Sarah planning to stay in Europe? What is Sarah's main reason for traveling alone? Which landmark is Sarah most excited to see in Rome? What type of tours and activities is Sarah interested in during her trip? You will hear a conversation followed by six questions. Listen to each question. You will hear the question only once. Choose the best answer to each question. Hey, I wanted to talk to you about something important. I've noticed some changes in your behavior lately, and I'm concerned about your well-being. Oh, really? What's been going on? I didn't realize it was that noticeable. Well, I've noticed that you've been isolating yourself more often, and your energy seems low. It feels like something's bothering. Are you okay? Honestly, I've been struggling. I've been dealing with a drug addiction for a while now, and it's been really tough to handle. I've been trying to hide it, but I guess it's been more obvious than I thought. Thank you for opening up to me. I can't imagine how difficult it must be for you. Please know that I'm here to support you. Have you considered seeking professional help? I appreciate your support. It's not an easy topic to discuss. I've thought about getting help, but it's been hard to admit that I have a problem. I've tried to quit on my own a few times, but the withdrawal symptoms and cravings always seem to get the better of me. I understand that it's a challenging journey, but seeking professional help can make a significant difference. There are addiction specialists who can guide you through the process and provide you with the necessary tools to overcome your addiction. You don't have to face this alone. I know you're right. It's just scary to take that first step. What if I can't quit? What if, what if I disappoint everyone? These thoughts keep holding me back. It's natural to have those fears, but remember that addiction is a disease, and seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. 
Your loved ones would want you to prioritize your health and well-being. You're not alone in this. There are people who care about you and want to support through your recovery. You're right. I shouldn't let fear control me. I need to take responsibility for my actions and start working towards a better future. I'm tired of living this way. That's a courageous decision, and I'm proud of you for making it. It won't be an easy road, but with the right support system and professional guidance, you can overcome this addiction. You're stronger than you think. Thank you for believing in me. It means a lot. I've decided that I'm going to look for addiction treatment programs in my area. I need to take control of my life and break free from this cycle. That's fantastic. I'll be here every step of the way to support you. If you need any help with finding the right treatment program or attending appointments, I'm more than willing to assist. Remember, recovery is a journey, and you're not alone in it. Your support means the world to me. I can't express how grateful I am to have someone like you in my life. I will definitely reach out for assistance when I need it. Together, we'll get through this. Absolutely. Remember, there will be ups and downs, but every small victory counts. You're taking a brave step towards a healthier and happier life. I believe in you, and I'm confident that you'll come out stronger on the other side. I won't let this addiction define me anymore. I'm ready to reclaim my life and build a brighter future. Thank you for being by my side through this journey. I couldn't do it without you. You're welcome, and I'll always be here for you. Let's take it one day at a time and celebrate each milestone along the way. You're stronger than you realize, and together, we'll overcome this challenge. Which behavior change in the woman made the man concerned? Why has the woman hesitated to seek professional help? What did the man emphasize regarding seeking help for addiction? What did the man offer to assist the woman with? What did the man highlight about the recovery journey? How did the woman express her determination to overcome addiction? You will hear a news item once. 
It is about 1.5 minutes long. Then five questions will appear. Choose the best way to complete each statement from the drop down menu. In a worrisome trend that is gaining momentum, the country is grappling with a significant brain drain, as a growing number of highly skilled professionals are choosing to leave their homeland in search of better opportunities abroad. This mass exodus of talent is raising concerns among policymakers and experts who fear the long-term implications for, for the country's economic development and innovation. The brain drain phenomenon characterized by the emigration of highly educated individuals, is fueled by several factors. One of the key drivers is the allure of better career prospects, higher salaries, and improved living standards in developed countries. Many professionals, including scientists, engineers, doctors, and researchers, feel that their skills and expertise are undervalued or underutilized in their home country, leading them to seek greener pastures elsewhere. The consequences of brain drain are manifold and impact various sectors of the economy. In academia, the loss of renowned professors and researchers hampers the progress of universities and research institutions as valuable expertise and mentorship are lost. This can impede the country's ability to attract research funding and collaborate on international scientific projects. Similarly, in the medical field, the departure of skilled doctors and healthcare professionals exacerbates the strain on the already burdened healthcare system. The loss of experienced practitioners not only weakens the quality of care, but also creates a shortage of specialized medical services, affecting the overall health outcomes of the population. Moreover, brain drain also poses a threat to innovation and entrepreneurship. As talented individuals seek opportunities abroad, the country's capacity to foster innovation and create new businesses is significantly diminished. This impacts job creation, economic growth, and the overall competitiveness of the nation in the global market. Gover government officials and policymakers are faced with the challenge of addressing this brain drain crisis and finding effective solutions. Several measures are being considered, including the implementation of policies to improve working conditions, competitive compensation packages, and investment in research and development. Additionally, efforts are being made to establish stronger collaborations between academia, industry, and the government to create an ecosystem that nurtures and retains talent. However, reversing the brain drain trend is a complex task that requires a comprehensive approach, it involves not only economic and policy reforms, but also addressing social and cultural factors that contribute to professionals' decision to leave. By creating an environment that values and rewards talent, investing in education and skill development, and promoting a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship, the country can hope to retain its brightest minds and harness their potential for national press. As the brain drain persists, its ramifications on the country's economic growth, Research capabilities and overall development cannot be ignored. Urgent and concerted efforts are needed to reverse this trend and create a conducive environment that not only attracts but also retains highly skilled professionals, ensuring a bright future for the country and its citizens.
You will listen to a two minutes video, then eight questions appear. Choose the best way to answer each question. It is Obsessive Compulsive Disorder Awareness Week. So we brought in the founder of the Peace of Mind Foundation, Dr. Elizabeth McIndale here. And there is a challenge going on right now for people who have OCD or maybe have it and don't even realize it. There absolutely is. So the International OCD Foundation is doing a challenge that this week called Face Your Fears. And the point is, is that whether you have OCD or not, we all have anxiety and we all have to face our fears oftentimes throughout the week, throughout our life. And so we're encouraging people to face your fears, feel the anxiety, and it gives you an opportunity to kind of feel the way people with OCD feel when they're triggered. And so if you are triggered or if you do the challenge and you realize I do have a lot of anxiety, I mean, the point is not just to be aware of it, but to do something about it. Absolutely. You know, so right here in Houston, biggest medical center in the world, we have incredible OCD treatment that's available. Um, I work at the Houston OCD program where we offer residential support, outpatient, and day programming for OCD. And the point is, is that if you're struggling, there is help available and you can learn to manage your life and live the life you want. Now, what are some of the signs that maybe people should be looking out for? Because a lot of people just don't know that they have this. Absolutely. You know, I mean, I think oftentimes the most important thing is unwanted intrusive thoughts followed by the need to engage in repetitive behaviors or rituals. Those are really the two big signs. But if you have a kiddo and you're kind of wondering, should I bring them in or not? If you're noticing disturbances with their sleep, with their eating, or their social or academic functioning, get them assessed. Mm -hmm. Really, prevention's always better. And are there things that you can practice throughout the day when you feel it coming on, you feel it welling up? You know, if you live with OCD, exposure with response prevention is the most effective treatment. But at the end of the day, it's all about leaning into uncertainty and being willing to face and live with your anxiety. So when you have anxiety or you're feeling uncomfortable, if we run from it or we try to make it go away right away, we end up enabling it and feeding it and the, the the treatment's all about leaning into it and being willing to live with those uncomfortable feelings. Which can give you anxiety as well, right? Yeah, Just the thought can. of leaning into it yeah. too. But you have a webinar that's happening today where people can kind of engage yes. and interact as well. We do. So if you go to peaceofmind.com, which is my nonprofit's website, we engage in webinars and all sorts of educational activities throughout the week and tonight we're doing one that's specific to young adults with OCD. And then I imagine too, this is a way where people can kind of, uh, kind of meet with other people too. Just to know you're not the only one who feels like this. Absolutely. You know, I think there's no better value or tool in treatment than getting a community and really learning to that, that you're not alone, that there's other people like you and for parents that there's other parents who have kids with OCD and being able to relate. It's so important. And so Peace of Mind Foundation works really hard to make sure there's an incredible uh, OCD community that's very supportive right here in town. And that's helpful too, right? Yeah, especially if you're a parent, maybe you don't suffer through that, but your child is. This is a way for you to kind of connect. And this is um, the the experiment that you conducted, that you did, you posted this video. It is, you know, I've lived with OCD since I was 12 and I've been pretty public and my family's been pretty public about it here in Houston. And I wanted to show people that I still suffer. There's not a cure for OCD. Mm -hmm. I still have to engage in therapy on my own. And so I participated in the International OCD Foundation's Face Your Fear Challenge and showed myself doing a live exposure this Saturday. Okay, so this is uh, online if you wanna check that out. And then the webinar is happening today at seven. It's okay to not be okay. That is so good Thank right? you so much. Yeah, no, thanks for coming on. We
you will hear a report once. It is about three minutes long. Then six questions will appear. Choose the best way to answer each question from the drop-down menu. In a world where dreams often seem unattainable, there are rare individuals who possess the courage, passion, and determination to defy the odds. One such extraordinary tale is that of Daniel Thompson, a young boy whose unwavering spirit and love for dance propelled him from the confines of doubt to the dazzling heights of fame. This is the inspiring story of a boy who not only discovered his passion, but embraced it wholeheartedly, transforming himself into a renowned dancer and an inspiration to aspiring artists worldwide. Daniel Thompson was an ordinary boy, growing up in a small town with big dreams. At the tender age of six, he watched a, ball watched a ballet performance on television that left an indelible mark on his impressionable mind. Mesmerized by the elegance, grace, and sheer artistry of the dancers, he found himself captivated by their every move. From that moment forward, Daniel knew he had discovered his calling. As Daniel expressed his desire to learn dance, he faced skepticism from his family and peers. With no formal training available in his town, he resorted to learning from online tutorials and mimicking the steps he had seen on his television screen. Guided solely by his innate talent and unwavering determination, Daniel spent countless hours practicing in his makeshift dance studio, a corner of his room adorned with posters of legendary dancers. Realizing that his dreams needed a bigger stage, Daniel approached his parents, pleading for an opportunity to attend a prestigious dance academy in the city. Although reluctant at first, his parents recognized the burning passion in their son's eyes and decided to support him wholeheartedly. With their unwavering encouragement, Daniel took a leap of faith and ventured into the unknown, leaving behind the familiarity of his small town for the bustling streets of the city. Life in the city presented its fair share of challenges for Daniel. He faced intense competition, rigorous training sessions, and moments of self-doubt. He often found himself overshadowed by more experienced dancers who had been honing their craft for years. But Daniel refused to let the setbacks deter him. With each stumble, he rose again, fueling his determination to prove that he was capable of achieving greatness. As Daniel progressed through the ranks of the, ranks of the dance academy, his talent and perseverance began to shine through. He caught the attention of his instructors, who recognized his raw potential and invested their time and expertise in nurturing his talent. With every ballet, contemporary, and hip-hop class, Daniel's skill and versatility grew, and his passion burned brighter. The turning point in Daniel's journey came when he was offered a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to perform in a renowned dance competition. With nerves tingling and heart pounding, he took to the stage, captivating the audience with his flawless technique, expressive movements, and sheer passion. The judges were mesmerized by his performance, recognizing the birth of a rising star. Daniel emerged triumphant, securing first place and capturing the attention of dance professionals worldwide. Following his triumph at the competition, Daniel's career skyrocketed. He became a sought-after dancer, performing in prestigious dance companies and touring the world with his artistry. His talent transcended boundaries, captivating audiences with his captivating performances and leaving them in awe of his sheer dedication to his craft. Today, Daniel Thompson stands as a testament to the power of perseverance. 